What's up guys? Your mate Jellard again. Welcome back to my channel. And for those who are new to my channel, please subscribe and like. And also hit the notification bell for more videos. Mate Jellard's family. And today, I will show you how to update our electronic publications and act this by using Nabtor. So, enjoy the video guys. So guys, this is our Nabstick, a USB, used for updating our ENP, EDP, and ECDIS. So as you can see, there's also an instruction there for updating procedure. So just insert this guys to your computer. So this is our electronic publication guys, the EDP. Admiralty Total Tide Admiralty Digital Radio Signal 6 Admiralty Digital Radio Signal 2 Admiralty Digital Radio Signal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Admiralty Digital List of Lights and the ENP Electronic Nautical Publication Reader So this publication we will use on board so guys, we will start now downloading the new updates. So just click this icon NabSync and then it will start download from the internet and it will be saved to USB to our NabStick. So just click the button start and it will start downloading. So after all this uh, download complete, we will start now updating our ENP, EDP, and Transas ECDIS. So, it also the same procedure when you receive some new permits for ENP, EDP, and for ECDIS. Download complete guys. As you can see, it is ready to install new permits and ENCs. And you can open the report by clicking this open report button and you will see this NABTOR NABSYNC updating report you can print this one for your evidence to any authority that will come on board and you can also save this one for your backup by clicking the file and then choose any folder you desire to save After you've done saving and printing, you need to create backup guys by clicking this create backup button 
and then you will wait few minutes until it will be completed saving to your backup backup completed guys as you can see ready to install new permits and ENCs you can now close this one and start updating your ENP EDPs and ENCs to your transas like this so guys for weekly updates of ADP just press this data updating icon click this one and then as you can see data updating wizard so click this uh, next button and then update from DVD next and then from the browser e info and adp and press next now it is updating guys and then we will wait a few minutes to complete the update So, update is complete. Before you click this finish button, just preview this one. The report. As you can see, there's the report of the ADP. And then, you can print this one. So, you can show this to the authorities if they come on board. And then, print. After you print this one, so click finish and then we will go now to updating the ENP so press this uh, icon guys this ENP icon click this one As you can see, already colored red from this uh, all publication. So, go to tools, press this uh, get notice mariners and permits, click this button, and then press next. So be sure it is media and then next and then the selected location if you browse ENP ENPO and ENP and then load So as you can see, it is already loaded and then just click finish. So all is updated. You can see this at, at the report. Just click this uh, button here, this certificate and then generate. And then view. As you can see, is updated and it is a certified uh, ENP updates so you can print this one also and then show to the authorities after that click finish 
then you can go to bookshelf you can check the publication no more red marks that it is mean that all is updated so this is our publication in this uh, vessel as you can see all electronic publication is saved in this uh, ENP reader so the, the pilot books Barner's handbook ocean passage of the world admiralty guide to net to use ENCs as you click this one you can see immediately the electronic book so all publications you will see in this bookshelf including the nautical almanacs the cumulative list the admiralty notice to mariners Iala and the guide for the ENC symbols. So this is guys, this is the updating of the ENP. Hope you learned something about this one. So we will now proceed to update our like this. And also about this ENP and ADP, you need to have a main and backup system. So we update now is the main computer and then we will next update is the backup system so if you update the backup system it is the same procedures guys from updating this main system so let's go update the backup and then after the backup we will proceed to update the this so I will not show the video for the backup for updating because it is the same for the main so let's go directly to the like this for uh, updating the weekly updates so let's go guys this is our transas like this we will update this one now by pressing this icon T and then choose the nav planner icon After you press this one, we will wait a few minutes until it will be loaded and ready for updating. You can now also insert the nav stick, the USB, to your Transas CPU because this is the source of the weekly updates. Now the nav planner is loaded, just press the icon charts. And then as you can see when you press this one you will see the install. And then you will just press this ENC permits icon. So updating this uh, transas like this, there will be three steps. First, we will update the ENC permits by clicking this icon. Browse. E-file, which is the source from your nabstick. Enpo Next, Nabdor
Next is permit. And last one is act this. Act this one. And press OK. And then press this install permit. And we will wait a few minutes until it will be loaded and updated. So the step one now guys is finish. Just close this one. This report. And when you close this one, this will be updated from this uh, first step. As you can see, updating charge and like this and synchronizing for both master and slave like this. Now it will appear into your chart that it is the chart collection is updated and the weekly updates is updated also. So after this one, just press OK and then you will press again the T button. And then go back to Nav Planner. And now we will begin the step 2, the next update. So just choose again the charts. Now press the browse icon then choose the file E and be sure that it only shows E so that it will be correctly updated to your present week and you will press go. After you press go, this one will appear and then wait until the egg this finish synchronizing. So it's done with the uh, synchronizing. So just press again the OK and then the T icon and go back to Nav Planner. Now we will begin the step 2 by pressing this install selected items and we will wait a few minutes or hours until this one will be finished updating.
So, step 2 is done. As you can see, the report is showed. And then close this one. Now the chart is updating, synchronizing, so we will wait until this one will be finished before we start the last update, the step 3, updating the IO charts, the TNP of this ECDIS is now called IO. IO means the Admiralty International Overlay. So. Before in the paper chart is temporary and preliminary notices. Now in your ENCs, it will be uploaded like this. So the synchronizing and updating is done. We will now go to last update by pressing the browse E Enpo and IO. So and then press go. So this will be the last update. It will only take a few minutes before this one finish and now we will wait. So before you press this install selected items, we will wait for the this finish synchronizing to each other. So synchronizing finish guys. You can now press the install selected items for the IO. And wait a few minutes until it will be finished. Now updating of IO is finished. You will see the report. You can now close this one and then it will be synchronized to both of these. And then we will make a report. Press the create report button. All installed charts and status. And then wait a few seconds until it will be finished. As you can see, chart collection status report is here. You need to export this report to your uh, Nabstick and close this one. So after that one, you can close this uh, Nab Planner. Ex press the T button. Exit. Now it's charts collection updated. As you can see, at the right corner of this one, you will see this uh, report of the last update of the chart the and the weekly updates the week and the year so guys the report you need to print that one and then save a copy so that it will be uh, evidence if any authority will come on board 
So guys, that is the updating of our Transasec disk. All are finished now. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video and learned something about updating our electronic publication and Transas this you by using Nabtor. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos. You can comment also down below if you have some questions and something to say to me. Thanks for watching guys. See you.